Hello all lovely people out there, Kevin from Steezy Pipe here, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. And in this video, we'll take a look at the new Flex layout feature in InDesign. I haven't tried it much, it just got released, but it lets you put objects into a Flex container where all items are spaced automatically by values and update dynamically. But it's a lot easier to show you than uh, just trying to explain it, so let's jump into InDesign. Here I have an example document with multiple objects that I thought were suitable for flex layout and there is a new panel under window and then flex layout and to start us off we select the objects we want to include and uh, then we can click the create flex layout button here. You can also right click uh, or you can also go to objects and then flex layout here as well. And as you can see it moved everything around. I don't really know why yet but the key thing is now that we can just drag objects to move them around in the container, just like this, and they just snap in place. So let me just move everything the way I want it. Now we need to do some settings. First we set the container size, it can be auto or fixed, and I want the width to be a size to the margin, so I go for fixed, which would make it 180 millimeters in my case. And if we set height to auto, it will size it to fit all in one column, as you can see. Uh, and we don't really want that, so I'll set that to fixed as well. And uh, that can be maybe 237 mil. And we can also choose alignment over here. And you can see how it moves around. And the arrows, we decide the direction the content should flow. And I want it to flow downwards, which we already have, but if I want it left to right, we choose the right arrow. And the return arrow here is what allows us to break and be multiple columns or rows. And you can see what happens if we disable it. Next, the first four here are padding values. You can see it insets the objects in the container, but I don't need that. But I do want some space between the columns, which we can add here, and I need 7.5. The row spacing is grayed out because of our flow selection. If we choose left to right, that one becomes available instead. And lastly, here we can control how the objects are distributed. In this case, basically the space between the rows. And the first three gives you no extra space and aligns it in different directions. You can kind of see how it's working. And uh, the last three distributes them with space between, around or evenly. And here I think I want the between option. And that's it. Now we can easily just select objects and move them around and it will flow nicely. And do I think this will be useful? Maybe, I haven't tried it much yet, but uh, that's all I had for this time. Hope you find it interesting and see you in the next video right here on CC Pipe.